Hello there, my Piscean collective sun, moon, rising, Venus, sun. Welcome to your What Do I Need read. For this new moon in Sagittarius, full moon next in Cancer in December 2020, I am your reader. Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, Pisces, moon, the archangel of Lyons, Mark Angela Lyons, which you can call me Mal. Hey, my mer people. Hi, yes, we've got our own code language. We've got our own sign language here during the Circle Productions because of the Pisces, because I love being a Pisces. Oh, and I really, really, truly do. Helps with the career as a reader, too. Gotta say, it's not so easy to turn off when you're not working, but there you have it, right? You know what I mean. If you are new to my channel, please do consider liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell if you are a Pisces, because we need to stand together as the empaths of the Zodiac. Every sign can be empathic, but you know, we're 12th house, honey. We're feeling the collective of unconscious every day, every moment, whether we're aware of it or not, hence unconscious, right? So here to get you some clues, some tips, some hints, some guidance, some grace in a six card draw, six different decks, one card each, three oracles, two tarot decks, and one healing system for this a very specific time frame, the new moon in Sagittarius, which I'm doing this the day before it, dark moon in Scorpio, great fun uh, <laughs> for me as a Pisces moon. Uh, we are looking at December 14th. Uh, yes, it is a new moon. Uh, uh, it is an eclipse, but it also goes void, of course, all at the same time. So it actually leaves the sign of Sagittarius as soon as it goes new, 11, 17 a.m. Eastern, right? So it's not, there's like no new moon magic on this. We're going to have to wait until at least 10.30-ish p.m. Eastern. I'm in New York, right? When the moon to go into, for the moon to go into Capricorn, if you really want to nail that. I'm a Virgo sun, Pisces moon, so I always keep an eye on the lunar stuff. If you follow me on Facebook or, you know, on uh, you, uh, anywhere, right? It's like I'm always talking about this, the phases and the signs of the moon because I'm a Pisces moon. I need to know when the moon's in Scorpio. So if I'm feeling everybody's like depression or whatever, right? Part like 2% can be around the rest of the collective, just how it works. So easy to identify with that stuff anyway. So that's what these reads are for, to get you some clarity, guidance, and grace. It is a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, because we're looking at the waxing moon. So waxing moon read to the full moon in Cancer, 528 a.m., a little early to be doing full moon magic. We will be doing something for sure here on the 28th on the YouTube channel, because I always try and hit Sabbath's Yule I'm getting ready for next week uh, for YouTube as well as elsewhere. So, um, you know, December 29th, it, it's a two-week period, right? What is it that we need? And I'll include myself in this. We'll see what cards at the table for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All the decks that I read are in the description box all the way at the bottom. There are some other cool links there you might be interested in checking out, as well as how to book me for a reading. I'm going to make a video how to how to book me for a reading because it's easy. But if you just find me on Facebook, man, we can do all of that through Facebook Messenger. But I have to actually explain that because I have a thing on my website that takes three days for the payment to clear before I even know someone made the payment. So we're working on it. I think that's enough business, shall we? Don't you think? Don't you feel? Take a nice deep breath. Let's do this. As I tune to the angels, through the healing with the angels, Oracle by Doreen Virtue, please, my angels of water, the sign of Pisces, my Gabrielites, please, one card in clarity for the Piscean Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. This feels lovely, please. What is the healing angel that the Piscean Collective most needs to call upon, work with, pray to, read about, study, whatever, feel out, channel this new moon in Sagittarius to full moon next in Cancer, December 2020. Nature, nature angel. So uh, the healing, uh, oh, getting a big download on this for the Pisces. Um, what would the healing angel of nature do? What would that angel's job be? It would help be to help you balance, bring yourself into alignment with the unified field of unity consciousness in nature, right? It is the ultimate purifier. Now, where I live on Long Island, I live in the mountainous regions. There are no mountains on Long Island, but I am near um, the highest point of Long Island. So I can walk around my development, my condo development. It's lovely, right? Trees and stuff like that. And it's really good. But my favorite thing to do is go to the beach, which I went uh, after Thanksgiving with a friend of mine. 
It was lovely, right? It was total recharge, right? So the ocean, I mean, we went to the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, we went to Robert Moses Field too, if you're familiar, right? So we're getting the sea and the, the, the sand and the wind. It was freezing, but we didn't care, right? But that for a Pisces is really important because it allows us to kind of let go, uh, even though it's a waning moon, uh, and to build ourselves up with chi, with prana, so that we can have the energetic support we need for our own emotional nature as Piscean, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and to feel what we feel and allow it to process through in a more natural way, right? Uh, connecting with nature to help empower and align your true nature, which is that of spirit, right? Even though we're water-based in that way, that's one element out of four, right? That we're really of spirit, we are of soul. So let's keep going. Let's get you more info on that. Crystal Oracle, Tony Carmine Salerno picked it up in Saratoga last time I was there, right before Thanksgiving from the Magic Moon. It's the last time I'm going to say it for a video, I think, maybe, because I love the Magic Moon. They're one of the few metaphysical, spiritual retail places left that's like Costco, right? It is huge. Fila Street, Saratoga Springs, Veronica uh, is uh, the owner. Follow them on Facebook and elsewhere, right? They're friends of mine. I love them. And they let me read there. Uh, not so much this year, obviously. So uh, this is the Crystal Oracle, dedicated, cleansed, consecrated, empowered in the energy of Archangel Ariel, my own personal Archangel, who is, yes, the angel of nature, the element of earth, but also the Archangel of Lions. Let's see what she says you need from the Crystal Oracle, either the stone you need to work with, right? And you do have the nature angel here. So this might actually be referring you to a specific stone, maybe just what's written in the book, maybe all of that. Breathe. I love this deck. I was like, oh, this will be cute. And then I read the book and I was like, holy fuck, this is really deep. <laughs> so let's do this. It actually kind of makes predictions. It's kind of cool. Breathe. My beloved Archangel Ariel, <laughs> please, one parting clarity for the Pisces Collector, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, perhaps I'm in this one. What is the healing crystal, oracle, that we need, either stone, definition, both, for this new moon in Sagittarius to full moon next in Cancer, December 2020? Oh, wow. I haven't heard, I mean, I know what this stone is. I've just seen it a long time. Kyanite, not to be toyed with, Kyanite. Hi, I'm Crestley. I, if you have a queer eye for a straight guy, I do. Uh, uh, Kai and I, KY, this is why you come back. You come back for the witty. I know you do. I'm a very skilled intuitive. I know, but I am Leo rising and Venus conjunct Mercury um, in Libra. <laughs> H I J K, where the hell are you, K? Where is it? Oh, pages are stuck together. Kyanite. Oh, right next to Labradorite. Lovely. Uh, Kyanite. Intuition, ideas, and dreams. That's so Pisces. That's so Raven. Pay attention to your intuition and your dreams over the coming days, for you are being guided towards deeper spiritual understanding and insight. This might as well be called the Pisces card. Uh, through this process, much of which occurs on a subconscious level <laughs> or in your dream state, a rather ingenious idea will surface that will radically change your views on life, particularly your career. Well, that's nice. I'm down for that as a professional intuitive. Kyanite will help you ground this idea as you discover ways of practically applying your idea in your everyday life and work. So it's not just a, a vision or an image or a dream or a concept. It's something that you're actually given practical application and guidance, right, to bring it to physical form. However... Do not try to force the process. Well, we, we can be okay with that. You know, go with the flow, Pisces. The idea will surface when you least expect it. Simply relax and allow yourself to be open to new possibilities and insights. Know that they already exist within you in abstract spiritual form. Oh my God, that is the most Pisces thing I've read all day, but then again still early. <laughs> wow. So something about nature and your intuitive nature, the healing angel will help and kind of or, you know, dreams, intuition, and a new idea coming in that's just going to hit you out of nowhere. I kind of dig it, but it's already within you, so it's not coming from the outside in. It's coming from the inside up. Interesting. So those are two of our three oracles. Let's get you some tarot narrative. 
got Daughters of the Moon for the stuff you need to be aware of inside of yourself, heart, third, third eye and crown, if you're looking for chakra coordinate, right? Uh, the divine feminine, the divine yin, the goddess aspect of yourself, half the universal energy, the mythic tarot will do for the yang, the other side of that uh, root, sacrum, solar plexus, outside world. Breathe. Oh, my goddesses of water and the sign of Pisces, Artemis, the Amazon, Diana, the mother, and Circe, the sorceress, the witch. Please, one card in clarity for the Piscean Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, you little flippers there. Please, flipper, 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 faster than light. Please, my goddesses, this feels actually really nice. One card in clarity for the Pisces Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. What do we most need to be aware of inside of ourselves? To wax, to strengthen, to build from this new moon in Sagittarius to full moon next in Cancer. <laughs> December 2020, Six of Cups. Balance, compassion, compassion for yourself, compassion for another. This is our nature. Actually, if you look it up in a lot of some of the more, um, I'll say, older uh, astrological text, the word compassion is really linked to Pisces more than any other sign because we can feel what other people are feeling. So if you feel pain and you know someone, even if it's not empathic, um, uh, empathic, um, intuitive empathy, social empathy, like put yourself in this, like, how does that person feel? Like, that's what makes us compassionate. We are the oldest sign of the zodiac. All other signs exist within us if you have any Pisces energy. So I have it as a moon sign, so I can feel everybody's everything, right? I can relate to it. Now, compassion for myself is absolutely necessary because otherwise I pour out my cup because it's like, well, I have to take care of everybody else. It turns into martyrdom. You feel on that, right? You have to be aware of your own emotional balance. You need to do that here. Um, and of course, getting out in nature. And you know what? Because things are the way they are in 2020 with people giving lots of space, let's just call it that, go out for walks, bundle up if you're in the cold, right? Go out, get your feet in the sand if you can without them you know, turning blue and freezing off. Um, to recharge yourself. And that kyanite's just going to help. I mean, kyanite's not to be joked with, it's not to be toyed with. I, I, I don't even own any, I think, right? Because I know it's power. All right, uh, the what's going on on the outside, right? The divine yang, the divine masculine, the god energy, the yang force, right? I don't want to make an anime and call, like have one half of it called yin force and the other yang force, but you know, I cannot draw. I just draw cards, that's all I know. Breathe, that's all I know. <laughs> Okay, my gods of Pisces, the element of water. Uh, oh, please, my gods of water. One card in clarity for this Piscean collective sun, moon, rising, Venus. I what? Myself included, obviously. What do we need uh, to be aware of outside of ourselves, whether it's how we appear or something that's going on in the physical world that is directly connected to all of that? Well, that's interesting. We'll see if any of those show up. I like to see when they lay, when they land face up what they say. Please, what is it we need to be aware of? That very well may be ensuring that we keep an eye on our own interior world, if you're watching this reading, right? With that nature, what is it we most need to be aware of in the outside world? This waxing moon from new moon in Sagittarius to full moon next in Cancer, December 2020. Page of Swords. Now, Page of Swords to me does not have zodiacal context or correspondence except for the element of air. And that's not a zodiac, that's an element. Um, this is a message and or a messenger coming in. Now, this does not have to be somebody you know. This can be a piece of news that comes in. It be something you see on TV. This could be an overheard or somebody could actually be giving you some information. But what I want to say about the pages is that they are immature, but that doesn't mean bratty like a spoiled child. It just means it's an initial. Um, like when someone wants to book a reading with me, they add me on Facebook first. I'd like, find me on Facebook, add me as a friend. I'm not going to read your page and find out who you are. I don't do that. I'm not allowed to do that. My gods would, oh, they wouldn't kill me, but they would give me a migraine for sure. Not as punishment, but to say that's violation of your honor code, right? But that initial message, hi, I'd like to book a reading with you. 
that's a page of sorts. Now, I know there's this thing about stalking and spying and stuff like that that goes on with this card. And I get it. That's a real modern interpretation. They're following you on social media and they don't know it, right? Okay, fine. If that is part of this, for sure. But what I see more about this is that you really getting this new idea, right? That's the one that came in from this kyanite right that saying that this idea like you're relaxed when it happens you're in emotional balance when it happens so you need to kind of work your way there over this waxing moon. this is beautiful uh so i'm not getting a bad feeling about that page of swords but we're not done yet uh those are our two tarot narratives inner and outer compassion and page of swords so let's finish this up uh we'll we'll get you what the the higher selves have to say about this fifth dimension and above i think eighth chakra and above breathe Oh, the higher selves of all involved. And yes, my own is included. Hi. <laughs> it was nice talking with you this morning. It's nice having you breathe through me. Please, one card in clarity for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus size, obviously myself included. This new moon in Sagittarius, waxing to full moon next in Cancer. We've got the Angel of Nature that we need to call upon and work with. We've got Kyanite that we need to work with or at least work with the energies therein as described. We need to be aware of the Six of Cups balance inside of ourselves in terms of who we are giving and taking with and are we giving to ourselves in equal measure about this Page of Swords information idea that I really believe is indicated in what the, the Kyanite card was about higher selves of all involved, my own included. So please, what is a piece of information, inspiration, or insight that we most need from our higher selves this new moon in Sagittarius to full moon next in Cancer, December 2020? Like attracts like. Um, if you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. And loving to yourself, that is totally, it feels like this is not necessarily romantic. It could be, I mean, this could be, it's a general read. It could be in any way, shape, or form. But it, it certainly feels to me that this is like this, like attracts like. If you want to get, receive, you got to give. It's very much this. And remember, as a Pisces, you can send, anybody can send love, but you can actually mean it, right? You can say, I don't know what you're, you're going through, but I love you silently, right? Now, maybe this is a message. Maybe this is you sending this message, but it, it, there's something reciprocal here. But it might be you starting things more on an energetic level because this is inside, right? Heart, th third eye, and crown, sort of like blessing. Uh, but then that's part of your nature and being in nature. Oh, 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 wow, total flash. Uh, if you have not read Celestine Prophecy by James Redfield, read it. I, I mean, as an adventure story, it's eh. But as a metaphysical novel, it's really good. You'd have to read like 10 different books to get what's in that one book and just little pieces of those other 10 books, mind you. Uh, but particularly uh, chapters three, four, and five. <laughs> God, did you tell I worked in a bookstore? Can you tell I'm a spiritual teacher? Yeah, that shit came out in like 93, 94. Wow, wow. So like a tracks like, this is good. I love this read for us. And, and you know, I'm going to say that. Look, I pray every morning, noon and night. And I'm not kidding. It's like in between readings, right? In between clients. I have to. Right? I have to do that to refill my own cup. Otherwise... Otherwise, it's weird. It's like I'm an empty vessel, but that is that's made of a sponge holding everybody else's energy, right? Tricky. I gotta wring myself out. Go take a nice hot salt bath. Last card down. Our healing system, the healing mantra deck by Matt Kahn. He really needs to get either dark ink <laughs> so that we so that it reads on camera. But I do not know how to do these things. I am. I'm reader and rich. I, I am not marketing master or designer. You know, we spreads, I do. Let's see what the Ascended Masters say. We need the perfect healing mantra. This new moon to full moon next. Breathe. Yeah, I'm all in here. Please, my Ascended Masters. One card in clarity. There you are, my beloved Ascended Masters. Please, one card in clarity for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I feel like you guys are hiding something here because we're Pisces. If we knew what was coming, we would run, but it's a really good thing. So please, what is our perfect healing mantra that we can implement this new moon in Sagittarius 
to full moon nesting cancer, December 2020, considering we've got the angel of nature, the stone of kyanite. I'm not looking at it. The stone of kyanite we need, compassion for ourselves and others we need, page of swords we need to allow this idea, this communication to or from. We need uh, to embrace the, the insight that like attracts like. If we're longing for more love in our lives, we need to be more loving. So what is the healing mantra that puts all this together? Ooh, grounding my energy. It's safe to be in my body. Oh, it's more than safe. It's fun for me. Except when I had a, I had a migraine this week, fucking killed me. I'd die and be reborn. Dark moon and Scorpio. Uh, wow, grounding my energy. It is safe to be in my body. And with that nature card, that does make sense, right? So this might very well be about you really plugging into the unified field consciously. We're all part of the unified field. We cannot be separated from a unified field, but we can feel cut off from it. That if we can start the flow going, Course in Miracles says uh, to give and to receive our one in truth, to give and to receive our one in truth. Almost iambic pentameter. I probably have a word off, a syllable off there. Um, so this is a really, really important mantra then for you to feel safe, because if you're feeling safe in your body, that first of all, the inner child will be more open to giving and receiving love, more compassionate, more understanding. And by the way, I do a lot of inner child work because I have just, it's my path this life. That's how I embrace the shadow nowadays, although <laughs> that I can't go down into the underworld and talk to my demons and my gods as needed. So they're not all the same thing. Um, but there's something really, really, really important here to get that the inner child isn't just an infant or a toddler. It goes all the way up to like 18 years old, right? So when we talk about the child, think of legal, like what is the legal age of adult where you are, right? So there could be something going on in the 14-year-old self or the 16-year-old self or the five or the three, you know, the two. So grounding your energy, if the inner child feels safe, if the child archetype feels safe, it's up for everything. If it doesn't feel safe, it's not up for anything right? So let me read this to you. This is a great card. And it grounds us, which is nice. Like I said, I'm a Virgo. Four planets in Virgo. So, you know, I'm, um, I, I, I like this card because particularly for 2020, <sighs> it is safe to be in my body. You feel that? Can you feel that? Well, this mantra will help. When your energy is grounded, you're no longer wrestling with the pain of the past or chasing after potential future outcomes. You dare to demonstrate your very best attributes and qualities, no matter how you are perceived or received by others. Now, that has a lot to do with that like attracts like, right? If you can really be authentic and say, fuck it, I'm gonna, I feel safe in my body, I love you. Or this idea that's coming in, I love it, right? Whether people like it or not, it's not my problem. With your energy grounded, your mind can relax as your body becomes a more enjoyable environment to inhabit. This feels lovely. Uh, this mantra is ideal for replacing compulsive thoughts because if you're an empath, you're probably picking up on those too. Releasing addictive behavior because a lot of that stuff, a lot of our patterns have changed certain things more available and less available and finding stability. It is safe to be in my body ground and my energy. This makes sense. Let me give you the blessing. Breathe. May the Piscean Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video be blessed with all that they need. This new moon in Sagittarius, the full moon next in Cancer, that they may absorb and, and work with the insight of like attracts like that they need. Working with Kyanite, love and compassion to prepare this new idea coming through that might very well be shared. And there's the new idea that they need to be open to, aware from, either coming from outside of them or something that they communicate to the outside world that they need to communicate, calling upon the angel of nature to keep them what? Safe in their body. It is safe in their, to be in their body. That they, the angel of nature helping them ground their energy with great compassion for themselves and equal balance, equal give and take for themselves, for the child within them, for the child and others, for the people in their lives and for all humanity, for their well-being and for the well-being of all concerned. So it would be. And so it is. There you have it. Again, if you if a card clicked and went, woo, hit the thumbs up. It helps other people get that information or similar, right? You want more of me? 
that subscribe. You want to know when I'm posting? Because I do pick interesting times to send this stuff out. Uh, hit the notification bell and please comment. If you have any idea what this means for you on some level because it gives me a little bit more interaction with the outside world. Otherwise, wishing you all the very best and the very, very blessed of this new moon in Sagittarius to full moon next in Cancer, my beloved Pisces, my mer people. Hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.